Hey everybody and welcome to Top Comics to pre-order in a flash. I'm Andy. I'm Matt. We're here with Infinity Flux Comics out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is our really quick show where we show you some of the biggest and best books that you can pre-order by this weekend. Your pre-orders are due Sunday at 6 o'clock so you don't miss out on any of the comic goodness. And let me just say, this is one humdinger of a show because oh, yeah. there is <laughs> a big one to start yeah. off with. So let's get into it. We are starting with Absolute Batman number one. And guys, this book is awesome. Andy and I both read it today. And the hype is real. This is great. Forget everything you know about Batman other than he's Bruce Wayne. But other than that, forget everything you know about him. Uh, this is a Batman that doesn't have his money. He doesn't have the butler. He doesn't have the cave. Um, but he is still Batman, and he still does Batman things. There is a gang called the Party Animals terrorizing Gotham City, and he is the only one who can take them on. This issue is amazing. We will talk about it more on Friday because mm -hmm. I feel like I could talk about it for an hour, but uh, just lots of great action, great artwork. It feels familiar, but it also feels different. I felt like I knew enough to know what to expect, but at the same time, I did not know what to expect from page to page. And it is full of surprises. Full of surprises. This is the real deal. You are definitely going to want to get this one. Yeah, it could be the new, you know, I could see Ultimate Spider-Man and Absolute Batman being like, the two books that everyone must read. Definitely. Next up, we've got a new one from Marvel. We've got Mystique, number one. This is our next of the mini series from the Ashes books that we're getting. And this one is written and drawn by Declan Shalvey. And in this one, it looks like Nick Fury stumbles upon a web of lies and espionage that leads back to Mystique. So how do you track someone who can change who they are and whose very history contradicts itself? we have to find out what is the new status quo for Mystique after Krakoa. We'll find out right here. Bringing it back to Batman, this is Batman Full Moon, and this is a, a, a werewolf story, basically, coming out right in the middle of the spooky season. A powerful lichen is stalking the streets of Gotham City, defying Batman's mind and his gadgetry, which means he's only got his physical strength and resilience to help him beat this monster. But is that going to be enough? Even his magical allies like Zatanna tell him that he might not walk away from this one. And every issue is going to have a glow-in-the-dark cover. Ooh. Next up, Hasta la Vista, baby. It's the Terminator. <laughs> and this is also by Declan Shalvey. Uh, so, uh, and the artist by Luke Sparrow. And this is really, really cool. So after the failings of Skynet to take down Sarah Connor and her son John, uh, they're not out of tricks yet. And they are going to open up a new avenue of war as they send the, their Terminator robots throughout time and the world to uh, stop freedom fighters or their ancestors. Mm -hmm. So throughout time, they're going to stop them. So I feel like we're going to get some really cool, maybe even period pieces right. with, give me like Pirates versus yeah. <laughs> Terminator and stuff. I, it sounds so cool. Uh, and it says these missions aren't as straightforward as the T-800 and T-1000. But time is literally on the Terminator side. And nowhere and no when is safe. So this sounds awesome. I can't wait to read it. I love Terminator. So this is your next one from Dynamite. Well, this is Alien Romulus, number one. This is actually a prequel to the recent very good Alien film. And it's a new story detailing how the Xenomorphs found Rain and Andy and their scavenger crew... But it says that familiar faces lurk in the shadows, and this issue is going to shine a light on them all. So just a cool new Alien series. Next up, we have Action Comics 1070. This is your all-in uh, Action Comics jumping in point, your invitation if you haven't been reading or continue to read. Uh, and it starts the Action Comics Weekly. So this is going to be coming out a, a weekly for this with Mark Wade writing it. Uh, with art by Clayton Henry, plus backup stories by Mariko Tamaki and Skylar Partridge. And in this, something terrible has emerged from the Phantom Zone. And of course, it's up to Superman to go into the Phantom Zone to figure out what's been going wrong. Uh, and it sounds really cool because you've got mon -El on the yeah. cover going to be returning. Plus, the backup story is uh, with Supergirl mm -hmm. and kind of catching up with everything going on with Supergirl. So I'm very excited about this new era of action comics. Next is the Green Lantern Civil Corps Special. This is going to be a one-shot, and the war for the fate of the entire Green Lantern Corps starts right here. Theros sends a surprising foe to retrieve the Dark Star Ring from Jon Stewart, which is going to maybe expose the United Planets as a force of evil. 
And it says, allies and enemies will join the special issue to launch the Green Lanterns in a direction that will change the DC cosmos forever. So this is part of the all-in initiative. And yeah, this is going to set the stage for the next big saga of Green Lantern. Very cool. I hope this eventually leads to maybe a Green Lantern core book yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that. Next up, we have Marvel's Crypt of Shadows, number one. So they've been doing this about every year. This is an anthology-style book uh, with a bunch of characters from the Marvel Universe run into spooky situations. This is going to be written by Benjamin Percy, plus a lot more. And it doesn't say a whole lot about what stories we're going to be getting, but I imagine you're going to be getting probably a lot of the characters that are on the cover. And if that involves Craven and Man-Thing and Werewolf by Night, Blade, I'm all in. And next is Hysteria number zero. This is actually just a one-shot. It's written by Elliot Rahal and co-written by Phil Collin of Def Leppard. This is about a girl named Foz. She is the front woman for an indie band called Dark Side. Uh, she inherits her father's estate, which includes a guitar that she remembers from her childhood. And this guitar speaks to her of fame and success and eventually delivers on those promises. But just before her band is about to take the stage with Def Leppard, the guitar is stolen and Foz is going to move heaven and earth to get it back. And next up, we've got Batman and Robin number 14. And this is your all-in for Batman and Robin as Philip Kennedy Johnson uh, takes over writing with Javier Fernandez on art. And in this, it really focusing on Damian Wayne as... He starts, as he's getting closer to the age that Bruce was when he went out on his mm -hmm. low-trotting adventures that eventually led to Batman, Damien is wondering, who am I outside of this crusade that I've been on, whether it be on his mom's side of the family with the League of Assassins or being part of the Bat family? Who is Damien Wayne? But that thought might not last for long when uh, a new villain arises in Gotham who is recreating traumatic events from Gotham's past. And Batman is going to need Robin more than ever for this. So just another great uh, jumping on point, a new invitation, as they call it, if you haven't been reading it, to step in right here. Mm -hmm. And that is it for Top Comics 2 Pre-Order in a Flash. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, head over to infinityflux.net right now where you can start placing your pre-orders for all these awesome books coming out. And we will be having our longer show coming up on Friday, Comics from the Future, where we'll be showing these books, plus their variants, and much, much more to get you ready to place your orders and get some good comics coming in the future. We will definitely be talking more about Absolute Batman number one on Friday, but spoiler free, of course. Yeah, but... spoiler free, but try to get us to shut up about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I dare you. Uh, so until next time, thank you so much and see, see ya. ya.